Breaking news we've been telling you about all weekend, affecting traffic at one point on the Golden Gate Bridge. Pro-Palestinian protesters shut it down during the morning drive time. Our Itai Had is there at the bridge to let us know what is going on there. Traffic moving in both directions, Itai, it looks like uh, the CHP was able to get on top of this one pretty quickly. Yeah, good morning, Reid. All lanes are open now, but at around 7.45 this morning, dozens of protesters shut down the Golden Gate Bridge, calling for a ceasefire and demanding President Biden stop arming Israel. Organizers say this is in response to the Monday bombing of Rafah. Uh, this is a city in southern Gaza. Uh, this is when Israel essentially conducted a daring raid to successfully rescue two of his hostages. The Hamas-run health ministry says dozens of Palestinians were also killed during that raid, with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli prime minister, vowing uh, to continue fighting until all the hostages come back home. Uh, Rafa is a city right on the border with Egypt. It is considered to be one of the last remaining Hamas strongholds. It's also considered to be one of the place, the place where many of the Israeli hostages are still being held. We're going to show you some video now that was sent to us by the protesters earlier today. They were able to shut down both the northbound and the southbound lanes for about an hour this morning. Uh, this isn't the first time pro-Palestinian protesters were able to shut down a major bridge. Back in November, this was during the APEC summit, uh, they uh, brought the Bay Bridge to a standstill for a few hours. Many of those protesters are now facing charges. We, of course, called CHP to see uh, if there were any arrests. We were not able to hear back yet. We will keep you updated with all the latest developments from here, but for now, We'll send it back to you in the studio. Meanwhile, terror group Hamas continues holding hundreds of hostages on this very day. Itai Had, thank you so much for that update. We'll continue staying on top of this breaking news. Stay up to date on our stream, CBS News Bay Area, and find us on the free CBS News app or on Pluto TV.